the spokes are a true straw. The actor has spirit, but little conscience of the spirit. Always he has faith in that which he inspires the most faith, faith in himself. Tomorrow he has a new faith in the day after tomorrow, a new one. He has quick senses, like the people and capricious moods. To overthrow, that means to him. To prove, to drive to frenzy, that means to know, to persuade. And blood is to him the best of all reasons. A truth that slips into delicate ears alone, he calls a lie nothing. Verily, he believes only in gods who make a big noise in the world. Those falls are a true strong. Bowl of solemn gestures is the marketplace, and the people pride themselves on their great men, their masters of the hour. But the hour oppresses them, so they press you, and from you too they want a yes or no. Alas, do you want to place your chair between pro and con? Do not be jealous of these unconditional pressing men, you lover of truth. Never yet has truth hung on the arm of the unconditional. On account of these sudden men, go back to your security. It is only in the marketplace that one is assaulted with yes or no. Slow is the experience of all deep wells. Long must they wait before they know what fell into their death. The, the smokes are a true strong. Far from the marketplace and from fame, heaven's all that is great. Far from the marketplace and from fame, the adventures of new values have always dwelt. Flee, my friend, into your solitude. I see you stumbled over by poisonous flies. Flee where the air is raw and strong. Flee into your solitude. You have lived too close to the small and the miserable. Flee their invisible revenge. Against you they are nothing but revenge. No longer raise up your arm against them. Numberless are they, and it is not hard to shoe flies. Numberless are these small and miserable creatures, and many a proud building has perished in raindrops and weeds. You are no stone, but you have already become hollow from many drops. You will yet burst from many drops. I see you wearied by poisonous flies, bloody in a hundred places, and your pride refuses even to be angry. Blood is what they want from you in all innocence. Their bloodless souls crave blood, and so they sting in all innocence. But you, you deep ones, suffer too deeply, even from small wounds, and even before you have healed, the same poisonous worm crawls over your hand. You are too proud to kill these greedy creatures, but beware lest it become your downfall that you suffer all their poisonous injustice. The smoke sour through strong. Proximity of your skin and blood. They flatter you as a god or devil. They whine before you as before a god or devil. What does it matter? They are flatterers and whiners and nothing more. Often they affect charm, but that has always been the cleverness of cowards. Indeed, cowards are clever. They think a lot about you with their petty souls. You always seem problematic to them. Everything that one thinks about a lot becomes problematic. They punish you for all your virtues. They forgive you entirely your mistakes. Because you are gentle and just in disposition, you say, they are guiltless in their small existence. But their petty souls think guilt is every great existence. Even when you are gentle to them, they still they feel uh, despised by you, and they return your benefaction with hidden malefactions. <laughs> your silent pride always runs counter to their taste. They are jubilant if for once you are modest enough to be better. That which we recognize in the person we also inflame in him. Therefore beware of the small creatures. Before you they feel small in their baseness, glimmers and glows in invisible revenge. How do you not notice how often they become mute when you stumped among them, and how their strength went from them like smoke from a dying fire? The smoke sound through Indeed, my friend, you are the bad conscience of your neighbors, or they are unworthy of you. They hate you, therefore, and would like to suck your blood. Your neighbors will always be poisonous flies. That which is great in you, just that must make them more poisonous and more like flies. Leave, my friend, and do your solitude and where the air is raw and strong. It is not your lot to shoot flies. The smoke shall throw strong.